about his love for the country. Every time he came out, you saw him in his mask and you say, everybody wear your mask. He didn't say, wear your mask and I'll take mine off. No. He was showing by an example what we should do. Just taking that singular um, uh, thing that happened to all of us in this world. Uh, if he didn't care about the country, I don't think he would have gone the extra mile. Education is dear to his heart. Should we just let it go? No. We have to spend extra, but to make sure that the children are protected and yet be able to receive quality education. It costs a lot, but today we are beneficiaries of that courageous, forward-looking, sensitive, compassionate leader. Uh, his leadership made the difference. Uh, and, you know, Ghana is adjudged to be one of the best countries in the world in the management of COVID. And I think it's, it's thanks to his leadership. Um, we didn't suffer as much in the area of deaths as many other countries. At age 80, President Ekufwado is ending a second term in a few months, yet prosecuting some of the boldest, transformative and ambitious policies our country has ever witnessed. It's been 80 years of God's glory. 80 years, it's a long time, eh? it's a long time to have been on this earth. We've been on this earth for a long time. <laughs> and um, you and I, we didn't think we would live to 80. <laughs> I know this because we would said it many times. But here you are at 80, strong, healthy, we thank God for your life. Like as I sit here, I'm 85, and every morning I wake up, I thank God profusely for allowing me to see another day. Uh, so Akufuadu now is coming to join us, the, the truly senior class of uh, humans. And I wish him very well. He's, he looks very fit, uh, so mobile, and so energetic in his ways. And, uh, with a touch of luck, I'm sure, you cross the 80 mark and then even live many, many years more. We are very, very happy to have you as our president. I am happy to have you as a boss. I learn every day from you. And I do hope that this 80-year celebration will not be uh, just a one-day affair. I think we should celebrate you in many, many ways throughout the whole year. I, I wish him good health, um, a happy birthday, but most importantly, I pray that his vision of what he wanted to do, if not everything that he has been able to achieve 80%, 90% of what he wanted to do. Of course, other things came in to kind of block the street, um, the running of governance. However, um, when he, the chips are down, he should turn the cards and say, yes, I made it. I was able to make it. I think for me that would be an important thing for us and also for him as a president of the country. My wishes for him, um, obviously, are that he, he, he um, ends his period as president successfully and also uh, for him to realize that he's done a lot for this country in, the, in his period as president. And um, I'm sure he will, he will be remembered for a lot of the things that he has done. 
and uh, I wish him a, a peaceful retirement. I love you. I'm proud of you. Thank you for being proud of me. Thank you for my amazing sisters. You know, because we've the family that we have is is. It's unbreakable, you know. We have such a bond, you know, that, that and my father is the epicenter of that, and my mother is the epicenter of that. Thank you for my for, for showing me a beautiful marriage that you have with my mother. There's no one can be able to see the tenderness that's between that, that couple. You know, I could go on and on. I wish him the very best of good health and happiness and many more years and to say thank you to him for being a good husband, for being there for me and a good father to our children. May God bless him. He has left such an incredible legacy for Ghana. I mean, it's, we may not see it clearly now, but his leadership has, has really begun a major transformation in this country. Of course, a lot of people will remember him for free senior high school education really landmark. You have about, about 5.7 million children who have benefited from free SHS and performance has gone up. Free TVET education and the investment in TVET in skills major. You know you've seen ambulance service resuscitated, you know the industrialization program, uh, one district one factory, all these factories about 54% of the in districts have been covered with factories right now. The, um, uh, the, then you see the, the digitalization program that he allowed me to champion in, in government has allowed a major transformation. The Ghana card which President Kofuo started, finally the issuance was done under President Nana Kofuado, which is a major legacy that we have. Ghana now has an address system, financial inclusion in Ghana now. We have very, number one in Africa in terms of access to financial inclusion. This is in our term. After 60 years of our independence, we were nowhere. But now we are number one in Africa. I, I wish him much longer life to contribute even after um, his term.